Right, welcome back folks. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. I've got my hands on a new Wacker plate here from Evolution Tools. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, I'm gonna be doing a little project in the garden where we're gonna be laying some artificial grass because we're having trouble growing lawn out there. There's not much sunlight out there. It's a lot of shaded under a big conifer tree. The soil base is, it's not very good. It really knows all digging out and laying a good topsoil down. But I say we don't really get much sunlight out there either. So it just grows weeds and, and ferns. My friends over at Evolution, Tom, actually did see that video and asked me if he could help out in any way with the project. And I was having to hire a Wacker plate from uh, my local hardware and he offered to send me one out, which has arrived next day. Uh, it's a petrol one. It is the Evolution Hulk petrol Wacker plate. And he did actually send me out a paving pad as well to go with it. I won't be needing the paving pad for this job. All I'm going to be needing it for is whacking down my sub base. I'll probably be using some 6mm MOT and then we'll be finishing it off with some uh, granny dust or some sand, whichever we want to finish off on the top with above the MOT base. So we're going to quickly get this put together in this video and then in the next week or two, we're going to head out in the garden and uh, hopefully get some sub base down. I'm probably looking at about maybe two tonne of MOT I'm going to have to uh, barrow through to the back and uh, get that leveled out. We'll have a quick look in the garden now. Right, so this is the area down here that we're gonna be covering. It's not a very big area, there are only small gardens on these new build houses. Um, you can see I've actually put a, a membrane down, I mean, this has been down about four weeks this now. This was just to stop anything coming up. You can see there, I've got a artificial grass there. We're not gonna be raising up to that high, we're gonna be coming down a bit lower. We're probably gonna come somewhere just to the bottom of this shed which will be about halfway up that deck there so we'll have a little step down into it there is a manhole cover just at the end there that I'm gonna have to contend with there and I think I don't think I'm gonna go right to the edges with the grass I think maybe along this wall here we're gonna have a bit of a frame and have a a little bit of a flower bed along there and uh, just a bit around the edge as well. We're gonna make a frame basically and have a bit of a uh, slate around the edges just so we're not going right up to the edge with the, the grass. We'll have a little bit of a border. Uh, that shed is probably gonna be going and so I'm gonna take the grass right up to the end there. Again, it'll be a little border around the edge. And uh, yeah, so we've got quite a bit of work to do. Fence needs a good paint need to get that painted really before we start sticking the grass down would make sense but if it's not done it's not done we can always put a sheet down so that's another little job for later on right so last time I used one of these was when I was about 16 I think it's 16 or 17 and I was actually uh, doing a bit of labouring on a building site for a local builder so I've only ever used I used it a couple of times but I say that was when I was 16 so that was a good few years ago and I haven't used one since um, they're pretty straightforward anyway um, but I'm not sure how much this requires to be built up, if it's literally just out the box, unfold the handle and it's go, or do we have to stick a few things on? I don't know, this is all new to me. I've just cut the top of the box off, so we can have a look in the box. So it's well packed, just get this bit of polystyrene out. Right, so we've got a handle loose here, so I'll just stick this out the way. All right, so there's plenty of packaging here. There's another bit of the handle there that's connected to the whacker plate still. So that's all the hand tools there. That's probably all that we'll need. And in this bottle here, it looks like they've supplied the oil as well, which is quite handy. Yeah, Evolution engine oil, and that's a uh, 10W30. So we'll put that out of the way for now. Right, so that's that out of the box. Uh, not the easiest you do need someone to pull the box off otherwise you can just cut down the side of the box and put it out so let's take it out of the bag nice little uh, machine this and I do like the evolution colors the orange with the black it goes really well all right so let's put that up there for now you do get your uh, owner's manual and everything there so looking at this this is a nice little uh, 
compact machine actually so you've got your main handle there that just folds away for storage and that looks like it that just pivots always and it's got some rubber bungs just at the back here so it can't go any further back so let me just quickly bring you in for a little look at this right then so as you can see it's a lovely uh, machine this I say I do like the color scheme with this it looks well in orange and black nice big uh, thick plate there so it looks like you've got your throttle control there yeah so you on and off switch and you've also got your fuel cut off tap there so that's in the off position and you've also got your choke just there look so no oil in the unit add it before starting which we will do anyway because it comes with oil looks like you've got your little cap here just to uh, check your air, air filter again I don't really look at instructions I'm someone that just normally goes ahead and uh, just gets on with it so I'm presuming we should have the air filter behind there yeah and it is behind there just see that so yeah it's pretty uh, straightforward out the box you could have it out of the box and up and running within five minutes by the looks of things. You've got your fuel tank there and it has a little filter in there as well so that's handy just in case you do have any crap in your jerry cans you've got a filter there to stop that from entering the tank and getting in your carb. I've just seen the dipstick there And I think I did read somewhere that this takes uh, half a litre. So you've got your L at the bottom and at the top you've got your H. So you're looking to be in this uh, checkered bit. It is actually on the low. There has been some oil in there. They have probably had oil in it from new because they do test these engines. So you want to be somewhere at the top of this uh, checkered marking on your dipstick there. So I so say there is bits of residue of oil in there but you do really you do not want to be starting until you've actually got your oil in there so coming on this side you've got your Hulk Evolution Tools branding on there again really nice machine this you've got your exhaust on the top there so obviously you don't want to be touching that and just coming in there you've got your HT lead there so that's where you'd be changing your spark plug again nice access for you to get a socket in there to take that plug out so i so say there's your heat shield there yeah this is a a really nice looking machine you've got your pull cord there so i've been out and got some petrol so what we'll do now is i'm going to stick a bit of oil in it and uh we'll be able to go for a fire up then let's just have a quick look that's your base plate there so that's where you're uh, doing all your whacking that's a nice solid plate that nice thick bit of steel plate in that so that's not going to stay looking that pretty for much long for very long when you start whacking the stone and all that but that's the purpose of it so you've got a bit of a uh, info there obviously it, the fuel is unleaded petrol you got 3600 revs a minute it's the hulk it weighs 34.5 kilos and it's a 2.4 horsepower yeah i'm really happy with this i'm really looking forward to uh, having a go of it so that's not going to be in today's video though because i didn't actually expect it to be this easy i thought i'd have to do a little separate video because it might take a bit of time to get this built and all that but as you've just seen it is virtually built out of the box so all i've got to do is i've just got to add this onto here like that and uh, put me four little screw bolts in. So I might as well do that now while you're here. I'll say that won't take very long. And you get these four orange caps and I think they just wind straight in because they're threaded in that bar there. Yeah, so they, they just thread straight into the, but I won't nip them straight up tight yet. Oh, you've got a couple of washers to put on as well so i'll have to take that one back out in a minute so we'll get the other side on 
and they're all greased in there as well which is nice to see there's actually grease in that handle on the threads so hopefully we shouldn't have any issues with them seizing up so i'll get this other one in because there is a little bit of play in here you can slide this up and down a little bit this handle and just uh take note not to cross thread anything so i haven't done them tight yet i'll put this other one in then we'll take that first one back out and we'll put that little washer on the back right guys so i've sucked the oil in it actually takes 0.4 of a litre so it's just under half a litre it actually holds and there's a little bit left in the container there so just uh, bear that in mind you don't put the whole lot in you it goes on whatever's left in the machine so there was a little bit left in mine probably that is probably what was left in mine so that's why i haven't needed that out of this jug so uh, i didn't feel me putting that oil in because i actually done it in the house so if stacy would have caught me uh she wouldn't have been too happy so i just stuck that in now so we're going to take it outside now we'll get a bit of petrol in the machine and uh we'll go for a fire up and i just noticed now look on the back of this pool card this is like a magnet on there so i don't know what that's all about if it is a magnet or what but it's unusual they're normally solid plastic them so yeah i'm not too sure if it's meant to it might just stick to the top of the handlebar somewhere maybe i'm not too sure but i say yeah it's uh not seen that before so as i did say you do get your uh, spark plug socket there for doing that and uh, i do believe under here you do have a belt as well so there's a belt driving this um as well so that's just something to be mindful of uh, in the near future when you do come to uh, do a bit of maintenance on it that you do have a belt in there as well so yeah let's head outside now and we'll go and hopefully get this running if i've done everything right i so say i haven't read no instructions i've just gone from basic knowledge what i know so we'll put a bit of unleaded fuel in it and we'll go from there this is a four stroke so you don't have to start sticking no two stroke in it uh, it is a four stroke engine this one so we'll head outside and we'll put a bit of fuel in all right folks so i ain't got a funnel so i'm just gonna pour I'm just going to put me a towel around there in case I do spill anything. So I'm not looking for a for fill the tank up today, just to get enough to uh, just get us for a test run. Right, that should do because I'm getting that everywhere. Bring that towel back on itself. There we go. We can do that. We can uh, turn the fuel on. Let that just uh, fill the carburetor up. <coughs> I will just check that we've got no leaks. We shouldn't have, but you never know. Everything's looking lovely and dry under there. So the throttle is right down. So we'll turn the throttle down. It was on full blast then. So for the choke, let's pull it back on that picture it's saying. And uh, let's go for the fire. Power switch is on. That's everything. So here we go. Just give it a couple of slow pulls first just to get everything uh, around the engine right let's give it a go then right so chokes actually forward we'll give it a little bit more rev and we'll go for it again.
fantastic right guys so as you saw there that was fantastic um the sticker was back to front on the there so the choke is actually forward you want to put choke on is forward and uh, once you give it a few minutes to warm up just take the choke off and it'll run sweet isn't that obviously you have got your uh, throttle control on the lever there i didn't bother running it up too mad because um this is only a little trial run so i know now i can order me other garden stuff and uh, we can get cracked on with this garden and uh, we can pull this straight out and there'll uh, be no issues at all there so again evolution have come through really happy with the evolution brand uh, i know a few of my subscribers now actually do use the evolution brand and again they've had good results with it they've uh, got back to me and let me know and they're actually sharing them in their own videos as well now so um top quality products at a fraction of the price so i'm going to leave a, a link down below for evolution tools under this video see if i can get in contact with tom and see if i can get any discount codes for you subscribers out there uh, if i have for this videos edited uh, i'll leave the link down below for the discount code and uh, hopefully you lot can get over there with a bit of discount and get yourself some decent tools at a really reasonable price so i'm going to leave it here for this little one next time you see this we should be leveling some uh, hardcore in this garden ready to lay our astroturf lawn so i'm going to leave it here and until next time we'll see you about